In this tutorial, we'll look at how to open your drop down menu with an animation, like a fade in animation. Okay, so I have a simple nav bar here with a drop down. Right now, the drop down is only working on clicks and it looks very messy always with the nav bar in HTML. Um, so let's see, I just copied this from the documentation and just customized it a little bit to get a dark color. But all of this is pretty straightforward. You can go to documentation and you can copy their examples. You'll find uh, a drop down example that they have. Let's see. Um, yeah, so here, right, they can they use it. So you can just go in the HTML here and copy that. That's what I did here. So then you get this, right? So it consists of these nav items. So one of them has become a drop down, and now we want to open this drop down with a hover, let's say, and an animation like a fade in animation. So I'll quickly make it work for hover. So what you can do is uh, when we when we hover this drop down element, right? So this is what you see here. When we hover this, we want to open up the drop down menu. Right now it's display none, we don't see it. So we need to make it display block when we hover this. So what you can do is say drop down. When we hover this, select the element with a class of drop down menu and make it display block. Okay, so then it opens up on hover, right? Now we don't wanna have that for mobile, right? So let's see here on mobile, we don't wanna have that hover effect. We only want to work with the click, right? So we only want to do this when it's bigger than mobile, right? So we can write a media query for that. We can say when the width is at least 576 pixels and you know, you can pick your own um, breakpoint here. I'm, I'm picking 576 because I'm expanding this nav bar here, nav bar expand on a small breakpoint. So in, in Bootstrap, this corresponds to 576 pixels. That's why I picked this breakpoint, right? So now it still works on hover for me. On mobile, it only works with click, which is exactly what we want. Now, one other issue sometimes is when you hover this and then click, you get that weird issue. It's a small issue, but we can quickly fix that with margin top zero. And now we don't have that issue anymore. Okay, so now we have this uh, hover effect, but it's very, you know, not very smooth. It's not very uh, slick. So now how can we animate this so that it sort of fades in? This is going to be a, a, a CSS transition, right? So it's really important that you have mastered CSS and also JavaScript, by the way, which are really like the underlying fundamentals. So make sure that you check out my courses on them. You can find the links in the description if you want to take those skills to an advanced professional level. But with the transition here, what we can do with this menu, right? So this menu right now, what we can do, I'll do it outside the media query here. So when that uh, drop down menu, right? So we're selecting the drop down menu in an element with a class of drop down, um, and that's actually not even necessary. So we're just selecting the drop down menu. We can say initially the opacity should be zero, right? And we don't see it right now, but we, we need to do this for a transition. And also we cannot animate, right? We're, we're gonna go from display none to display block. Um, you cannot animate it like that. So you need to make it initially display block as well, right? So if I just do it like this, we're always gonna see it, right? So we're gonna make it opacity zero. And then here, when we hover it, um, the opacity should become one, right? And actually I'll put all of this in the media query because it's connected, right? So let's see, the opacity initially is zero. And when we hover it, it's gonna go to one, right? Now to make it smooth, we have to specify the transition property. So we can say every property that gets changed should happen in let's say 0.2 seconds. Right? We could also say opacity here, but typically people use all. So now you can see when I hover this, it still opens up, but it's a smooth transition, right? And you can make it even smoother or, you know, customize this to get it exactly like you want, right? So make sure you check out my courses if you really wanna understand how CSS animations and transitions work. And also, of course, you know, part of Bootstrap is JavaScript, also important that you have mastered that. By the way, if this was helpful, I'd really appreciate it if you could like and subscribe. Also, check out my courses on CSS and JavaScript if you wanna take those skills to an advanced level, because in there we will build some beautiful real world projects from scratch so you can see how everything fits together and really master CSS or JavaScript. And I will also release other courses soon like React and Node.js. So if you want to be notified, then make sure you are subscribed to the email newsletter. You can find the link in the description. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you soon.